I know a lot of you guys carry multi-tools at work, and uh, well, some of you probably don't, but I'm going to show you, you can get loud around here, I'm going to show you some of my favorite work EDC tools, why I like carrying them, and what I use them for, so I'm going to switch up the camera around, and I'm going to show you basically some of my favorite everyday carry uh, work tools, and why I carry like on a pouch thing. Uh, but first of all, my watch is the G-Shock Atomic Solar Watch. This thing is badass because it's dead accurate to the time. It's atomic. It never dies. And it's just a cool looking watch and it's rugged for what I do here at work. So stick around and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so here's some of my work EDC stuff. Um, pretty much most of it. Uh, the notepad book and stuff, I just kind of use this for uh, taking notes and, and stuff like that. So this isn't something I use a lot at work, but um, it's always around. I have the pen there, um, but, you know, that's just there. It's, it's always with me, so it's in the mix. Um, next up is my – this thing, I love this thing because this is a One Tigris. I found this thing on Amazon. It's basically like a wallet carrier. But I use it for my ID, um, my garage door opener to get in the, the building here. Um, and it also carries my bullet Fisher Space Pen there. So this is just something that uh, I've had this thing for probably three or four years now. Um, and it's just an awesome, just I never lose my ID, I never lose my garage door opener. And uh, it's always there, so bang. That is definitely one of my favorites. Um, the knife is, uh, I guess you could say it's probably one of my favorite things to have on me. But as far as like work and go and EDC, it's, it's uh, something I'm looking to switch up and probably use a um, box cutter type knife soon. Um, so I'll get to that, but the knife I generally just use to cut like the crazy random amounts of cardboard we have uh, for extra parts or or whatever. I mean, I cut everything with this thing, but if it's too much, you know, then I don't really like to to use my my blade. Um, then I'll go ahead and grab my multi tool, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, my keys I usually just use. I have my new O light on there. I don't use this a lot at work, but it, you know it's on there just in case. Um, yeah, you know, it's on there. And then this I use a lot here, just to clean the dirt out of my nails and use the toothpick at lunch uh, and stuff like that. So uh, on a day like this where it's super freaking it's like gotta be a hundred degrees out, and I have the fans off right now to drown out the sound in the shop, so you guys cannot hear me. But you know, uh, a Hank is just essential for a day like this guys super hot outside drink plenty of water if you're in a heat like this um, because it is hot so anyway yeah the Hank um, I have something else under there to show you at the end now so uh, the Olight let's just get into that the Olight what I use for this a lot of times is I always wear a hat at work so when you're doing these trucks like this and uh this thing is pretty brutal. So we're going to restore this whole thing. This is obviously a Coca-Cola um, truck. Um, I'm going to restore this entire uh, truck here to its uh, original brand new um, look. It's going to look brand new when I'm done with it. And you've guys seen a couple videos where I've uh, done some things on them too. So on break time showed you a couple of things but um the Olight here comes in handy for you know checking inside the frames um, because this all has to be scraped and cleaned you know and because we have to paint this frame so you know there's a lot of body dust on there from uh, the body work getting done here in the back this is all that was all rotted so you know to not only to mention to to get in there and check to where the grease is and get all that out of there it's also good to do your pre-check when you're when you're driving these, um, 
you know, obviously you got to check all your bolts and your nuts and do the pre-check for a truck, which I'm not going to get into right now, but it's, you know, it's a, it's, it's a lot. You got to check your brake, your brake lines, your compressors, your belts and your hoses and everything. And uh, a good flashlight helps uh, if you're a truck driver and you're not, you don't have a flashlight on you, then uh, I don't know how you're getting around a pre-check without it because you got to get, you got to be able to get up underneath there and check for leaks and and all kinds of stuff so uh, a good flashlight helps out a lot so that's basically what I use the Olight for and uh, this one in particular works well because I wear a hat so if I need to use my hands I can just so if I need to use my hands and scrape why I look and, and look for uh, whatever just have that on there just like that and I'm good to go also, it helps to uh, just be able to look inside different things and, and check different things. And it's, it's awesome because this thing is a magnet. So it's, it's got a lot of different uses, this flashlight. So that's why I like to use this one. So the O-Light, any O-Light with the magnet, uh, whether it's the bigger ones or the smaller ones like this, uh, are great for, for shops or, you know, police fire, whoever. So next up here is my little pry tool. So this thing here I use a lot for like these rubber garments that are always in these plug holes like this. And I'll just use that and, and get up in there and get them out of there. You can see I use this thing a whole, whole lot. This thing's made out of brass. And uh, I just use it to pry different things. It's also got a bottle opener and some knurling on there. So you get a good grip on it if it's raining or, or something. Um, but this is just a, a cool little tool to have and uh, I like it. And, um, you know, when I don't want to use my blade to pry something, I'll just grab this. Actually, I never use my blade to pry anything because I have this, so good to go there. Um, this is my Leatherman Surge. Now, this is the thing here that I use this thing. And, you know, you see a lot of guys pull out multi-tools in their everyday carries, and uh, they, just, they just don't look like they've ever seen a day where they've been used. I can tell you right now, guys, that I probably just today used this thing about 12 times. You know, from just, you know, taking out different clips to holding different bolts to, you know, just, just anything. Anything with this thing. I mean, it's just so handy uh, for cutting wires. And you can see I'm due for a new set of wire cutters on this thing but they still work pretty good for the amount that I use this and you, and you can tell this thing is beat to shit and uh, this is not a cheap multi-tool this is about a hundred dollars but I'll tell you what when you spend good money on a good multi-tool like this uh, you're, you're never gonna have to buy another one you know you can replace things like in here and it just you know I dropped this thing I mean it's been ran over by trucks before and it's just <laughs> It's just an absolute beast. It's a little heavy, so that's why I carry it in this here sheath, which is custom made for me, which is also an essential part of my work gear. Uh, I was carrying my, my pen inside there or a Sharpie, but it just gets on my nerves, so I just kind of leave that. I'm actually probably going to cut that flap off eventually, but I just never did it. So anyway, um, this thing. And then also inside here is just a – I keep a Kent comb. Just so I can uh, touch up my hair or whatever, just when I'm all messed up looking at work. And uh, I keep that in there, and it also keeps my, my multi-tool from shaking around inside there. Because it stretched out the leather a little bit after years of use. And, um, you know, you can tell this thing just has seen better days. But uh, it's, it's a hard-working use piece of leather, and it works well. And uh, I use my gear to the absolute fullest <laughs> you know guys this stuff that I don't sit, sit around with this stuff and stare at I mean I use this stuff every single day so I mean if I'm if I'm and whether you're a cop you're a firefighter uh, you're a carpenter you're a roofer you're uh, you know you're a masonry guy whatever you are you have to have a multi-tool I mean a multi-tool is just the most essential piece of gear I mean even if you're moving somebody if I'm moving somebody on the weekend I'm strapping this bad boy to my belt because you know you're gonna have the uh, 
the screwdriver and the Phillips and, and everything in there. And, you know, you just pry that stuff up, up out of there, which is kind of kind of difficult to do one-handed. But, uh, you, you know, you get the idea. There's a Phillips head in there. So, you know, also, uh, I use a, a lot for the scissors. I also use my knife a lot for this, too. We'll get to that in a second. But the scissors on here are just exceptionally sharp. And uh, I have here all the decals and uh, and truck numbers and, and different things that sometimes I got to mix and match and, and cut and cut different numbers up and stuff like that. So um, I use my little cutting board and I use my scissors and uh, that's, that's what I just use. So sometimes I'll use my knife to trim the excess and, and, and stuff like that. Um, so that's pretty much it for my favorite gear. Uh, you know, like I said, you have to have a multi-tool that even the saw I've used here to, uh, just cut some different wood up and, and stuff like that. And just, just everything. I use this thing all the time here at work. Um, and what I use to hold all this stuff up is still the Travex cinch made in the USA. Everything here is made in the USA except for probably the the uh, one Tigris thing here, that's probably some China crap, but pretty much everything else here is made in the USA. I'm not sure about the Olight. Uh, they might be made in Taiwan or something, but I know they're designed here in, in America. Maybe they are made in the USA. I'm not sure, but as far as Recycle Firefighter goes, even my work boots, guys, these are made in the USA. These are Thorough Goods, uh, and they are the best. I've had these for about two years now. Um, due for a new pair, and I'll, I'll show the comparison, but these are genuine leather. These things are kick-ass, and they're just well worth the $245 that you'll pay for them uh, instead of getting cheap footwear. That, that's going to hurt your feet, and uh, you're going to be regretting that big time. So one thing I did want to show you guys is this is what they call a solar key. So if you have one of these and, you know, in a catastrophic event or a shit hits the fan event or whatever, um, say you need to get access to a building, they're not going to have a regular faucet where you can just turn the water on. They're going to have one of these things outside there just like that. Turn the flash on. See it? And that's how you're going to get the access to the water. And if you don't have this here, you know, you're going to stick that inside there, find the right one, yeah it's this one and then you're just going to turn it and it's going to turn your, your water on, you know, because a lot of times they're not going to have this out there in the building, so that's just an extra piece of kit that I thought would be interesting to show you guys, that's called a seal lock kit. So the only other thing that I carry all the time is just my wallet, my VanQuest wallet, and inside there I have some lock picks, which uh, sometimes you'll see some of these trucks will have locks on them. Sometimes people will lock themselves out of their different file cabinets or their toolboxes or lockers or, or whatever, and uh, I'm always there to save the day with my lock pick set, so that's why I have that. And I use it all the time, so that's always in my wallet. But uh, this is pretty much all my work gear, what I like to use it for, how I use it. And, uh, you know, you just never know um, what you're going to need all this stuff for. So people always wonder, well, what do you need a multi-tool for? A lot of times, you know, like when you start first carrying a multi-tool at work, especially a good one like this, that you know never is going to break and you're always going to have it on you, uh, it's a little bit hard to get used to. I know it's, you know, a lot of guys aren't going to want to carry a pouch on them, but, you know, you're at work, you're at work. You know, who's going to say something, you know? During regular daytime, you know, my dress-up clothes, I'm not going to wear something like that. But, you know, even a Leatherman Skeletal is pretty not cool to wear. You know, it has a nice little pocket clip or whatever. But, uh, you know, a lot of times, I'm like, you know, I used to have to grab, oh, I got to grab this, I got to grab that, I got to go outside and, and do something. And uh, it takes you a little while because, you know, even with your Leatherman on you, you're still grabbing the same things, you, uh, pliers or, or wire cutters or stuff. 
and uh, it takes a little while to get used to, to using it all the time but then you start remembering oh I just have my Leatherman so now a lot of times I'll just go outside with nothing and because I have this and I just think oh I got my Leatherman I'm good that's all I need and a lot of times it is all I need so um, that's pretty much it the only other thing here at work that uh, is pretty essential and important is the uh, trauma kit uh, obviously there's a, a full-blown first aid kit up here that's gonna have you know all your all your band-aids and boo-boos and stuff but this thing here it's got a rat's tourniquet on the outside and then on the inside there it's got a um, it's got the soft tea tourniquet then you got some wound seal and gauze a sharpie marker for the time stamp and uh, a CPR mask and gloves so this is just a little trauma kit I put together for the guys here at work just in case you know we deal with some uh, sharp metals and uh, stuff like that like over here when we gotta put on some sharp metals and, and stuff that stuff's real sharp you know what I mean so um, it'll it'll slice you up pretty good if you're not paying attention especially even even taping up a truck you're working with razor blades and you know taping windows out and stuff like that and uh, you just never know what you can get you can get sliced up pretty bad here so um, I keep a trauma kit all, at all times here in the shop um, and that's something that you don't see around shops uh, especially you know places you know you just don't see you see a, a band-aid and boo-boo kits but uh, you know you really do need a trauma kit everywhere you go these days so that's just uh, how I feel about that and uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and that's gonna be it like share subscribe I'll see you next time peace